if you look at uh, Fred Ho, uh, uh, the, the eye candy or, or you know, uh, what his wardrobe will sort of draw you in. And, and then, you know, he comes at you with a left hook about his politics, and, and then the right hook would be his music. So it's kind of like a one two punch. Oh my God, wow, he's really special. He looked like somebody, it's just something, like something different from any other people. He was, he was everything I sort of expected and more. I mean, he was just this larger than life, right, character. Fred's uh, wardrobe is, is something that, that people kind of, you know, go and, and marvel at. You know, he, he has his, uh, his, uh, his boots. They're, they're, they're uh, individually made somewhere in Texas, you know. Uh. Most of my clothing designs, my Afro-Asian couture concepts, are an exhibit right now at the Charles Knox Gallery in Harlem. Well, I do this stuff because I wanted to be a liberated Asian American man that had Afro-Asian textiles and concepts, but also, you know, be a gender bender. A so-called primitive technique surpasses anything made by industrial chemicals. Because part of my revolutionary Luddism I'm asserting is that things that are handmade have more soul and always better. My name is Fred Ho. I am 55-year-old stage 4B metastatic cancer fighter, a retired baritone sax saxophonist, composer, band leader, writer, producer, revolutionary matriarchal socialist, aspiring Luddite, and uh, someone who uh, I guess would be self-described now as a professor of revolutionary imagination. <laughs> 